match, but he figured that it could have gone a second faster. Let's find out what his trainer, Linda Toscano, says. She's back with Trish. You are so right, Sam. It's almost deja vu because I interviewed Linda before he went postward on Sunday in the Senior Jug, so we said we better do it again, huh, Linda? <laughs> I'm kind of superstitious that way. All right, you know, we were standing here, and you said you never dreamt of those kind of fractions. It's not what we really even talked about. I wanted to bring him out here and race him in the Senior Jug because I love this place, and I love the jug and everything that it has to do with, and he's so great on a half. But we talked about maybe getting to the half around 55 in a piece and mm -hmm. go from there. And when I heard the half, I thought, oh, Luke, you're going too fast. The three quarters came up, and I think I buried my head and didn't take it up again until I heard the final time, and then I was speechless. Well, the scary thing is, I spoke to Luke Willette, and he said, in retrospect, he wishes he maybe would have got after him a little bit because he thinks he may have been able to go in 48. Linda. I, I, have, I, I still don't know what to say as far as that's concerned. It's been a thrill. It's been a wonderful week. It, the people here are tremendous, and they really appreciate a good horse, and it's been a great thrill. Well, Sunday certainly was his day. There's no doubt about that. But some people are concerned when you come back with just a few days in between. Here it is. He's going to be back at it again. Are you a little bit worried? I've never done it to him before, so it's it's an unknown factor. And any time you're doing that, yeah, I am worried. He's came out of the race very well. He seems sharp. He seems happy. Fortunately, he's nonplussed by the whole atmosphere. Mm -hmm. So um, I thought we should give it a chance. Uh, they were short of horses, and it's a big race, and we'll see. To be honest, a lot of the people that are in against you said they think they're racing for second, but they're only edged. One said to me was that they hoped your horse was tired. You say he's not acting tired. No, he's not acting tired, but he's a hard horse, horse to gauge that from because he's lazy and he's very curious about what's going on. And while he acts just the same as he always does, I think we'll see in the first, at least by the half. After a performance like he put on here on Sunday, what did you do for him? <laughs> just kind of took him for lots of walks which is what he really likes and um, I think what we'll do for him it comes more later on first off I think it assured him that he'll be somebody's father someday and and I think that's the best thing I can do for him and as soon as we get him home we'll get him out into his paddock and give him a couple weeks to rest well Linda the smile he puts on your face is almost as good to see as the mile that he went I'm glad to see someone that is so much into their horse as you are into jet log you say he's like a son and I truly believe it good luck today thank you so much let's go back over